12 year old me would have known 22 years later, Hollywood would run out of ideas and be absolutely <laughs> only rely on IP to make TV shows. And so Queer as Folk would be rebooted and I would be a part of it. Oh my God. I would say, what the fuck is IP? <laughs> <laughs> Who could have even imagined? <laughs> no one could have predicted. Even Miss Cleo could not have predicted this outcome. Not even Miss wow. Cleo. So, so in in the show, you know, when we, when we first returned to uh, the legendary Babylon nightclub, um, you know, there, there, there's there's this drag show going on now. Johnny Sibley, you already have a drag name. Do you remember what your drag name was on? Yeah, um, it's Drag Babies. Sophia Low Rent. What was it? Sophia <laughs> Low Rent. Is it, have, has she made an appearance? No, but since, I'm trying to dust um, her off show. in season two. I don't know. I've been I've been planting the seeds. Really? I okay. mean, if we get a season two, okay. I don't know. Wow. Auditioning for drag school. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Ryan? Do, do you have? Oh do my you god, have a drag I name? don't. I think maybe like Marina Del Rey. <laughs> oh, that's that's original. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you are you are you uh are you are you are you are you gonna be a, but you have to be Marina where you gotta be a sad gay like you don't you don't strike me as a sad gay you gotta be a summertime gay. sad you listen to a lot of Lana oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> not oh not you oh should, you should have seen every time we sibling. were getting ready to go uh we were getting ready in the hair and makeup trailer we'd be listening to music and Ryan would walk in and he'd be like what the hell is this or he would just change it without even asking. We'd be like listening to like Beyonce and he'd put on like, I don't know, uh, some garage band music. Yeah, I was, I'm a music top. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I also noticed that, um, did Devin do like a nod to you in Johnny Sibley in the, um, in that first scene when he's visiting, um, when he's visiting uh, Jesse James and CG, and is there like a, it, it, did I hear like a little hit it, yeah. hit it, hit it, <laughs> hit it. Mm. They, like, what was that about? Was that, they was that did, like a, so Easter egg? They did that, and I remember Steven wanted to put the song in the show, but the DJs that made the song, this is some inside scoop, they didn't actually pay the publishers of the beat, so it got taken off of Spotify. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Sophia Low Rent, indeed. Indeed, honey. I was like, oh, they have, they have to have, they pay for it because I was, I just jumped on and said, yes, you can use my voice, but I figured they had paid the rights to use the beat. But... Not Jenny Silver with an illegal uh, underground track. We are, you all heard it here first. Johnny Sibley is illegally. Uh -oh. <laughs> pirating music, very natural, very, very uh, giving now. Those were the days. Also, do any of you even in the chat even know what Napster is? <laughs> does, does that even ring a bell to any of you? We're you like, like, it's been 84 years. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I feel like um, the lady at the end of the Titanic right now. Um, all right, so, Johnny, Stephen also incorporates moments of mm -hmm. magic realism and surrealism throughout the series, and Noah has moments in the series that play into that. All right, so... Um, what do these heightened scenes bring oh, to the story? I mean, the, I mean, this specifically Noah is like what the one of the characters that is experiencing a lot of like, you know, trauma because of the event, because of uh, the loss of one of the characters. So I feel that it's just one of those things that like when you go through stuff, those flashbacks happen. And, you know, sometimes on shows, I'm like, why are we like, I'm not going to name names, but there are like a lot of flashbacks in some shows that, you know, I'm always like, <laughs> but it does feel the way that we do it. I really enjoy playing it because it felt very real. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Ryan? No, because you're because you're causing more drama. Just like just like those yeah, uh, musicians I'm... you stole that music from. Yeah. You you can't stay out of drama. <laughs> can't stay out of drama. <laughs> anyway, but it de it definitely felt. I felt like it heightened the the feelings of whatever um, Noah was going through. So I liked it. <laughs> and he was like, just like those basic ass bitches who be doing them lame ass flashbacks that don't even serve a story. I'm not gonna say y'all's name, but y'all know what channel y'all is on. Your writers is lazy. 
Your show is garbage. <laughs> yes, cover them. Like, I'm dragging not straight shot to hell. Fired. Yes. <laughs> I do love the idea of you fighting other TV shows, uh, but it's like y'all are in gangs. Queer as folk is a gang, and then y'all are ganging up against like Breaking Bad. I would love to see you go toe to toe with Brian. Oh Francis. my god! And I, what are the chances? CP pitting disabled people <laughs> against each other yet again. <laughs> what is, what are the what are the odds that we can get you all to full on <laughs> fist fight? The real question is: Do you think? Jenny Silver, could you take Brian Cranston in the fist? Well, fight? he's my character does a little bit of meth, so I don't know if I think you could do just about anything with that. when the meth gets, honey. You can go to yeah. Well, actually, it's wait, it's gonna be meth on meth because Breaking Bad. So you yeah, actually, but he doesn't. Yeah, because Walter doesn't, White would, yeah. Walter White would just sell Walter White would sell no other meth, and then he'd get all scooped up in it, and he'd be he'd drop so you know Walter White had the the blue the the pure stuff. I don't know how we ended up. I'm so happy that Walter I watched White it over, like, over the beginning of quarantine because that, now I get all the references when it comes to Breaking Bad. I never saw you couldn't pay me to spend more time with like, great people. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's not a bad show, but we're not even talking about that show. We're talking about <laughs> queer as folk. Um, listen, so I know that Ryan, too, in a lot of your work, you include the intersection of sex and disability. Um, have you heard from people on their social media who finally see themselves like represented? Or I mean, you talked about your dick several times right. on this part. On this, because, because guess what? Because my dick matters. Okay, Alone. <laughs> my, my dick has been erased, and now it's coming back. Okay. Um, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, people. I, I the responses are really overwhelming. I mean, I feel like whenever you're like, you know, speaking for a large swath of the population without actually meaning to, but you're bringing representation to a much underserved population of people, like, it definitely, you get the representation sweats, and it's very, very nerve-wracking, and, um, yeah, but the response has been really overwhelmingly positive, but, I mean, I'm sure I'll get dragged eventually, honey. Our car, our number's always up eventually, but so far, <laughs> good. What, the, the real thing is going to be when you're older. Yes. Older. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely and I, and I hold space for most of them <laughs> when your old hookups like he's, he's, Holly, he's Hollywood now does Here's Johnny want to talk thing. about the boys we fought over in New Orleans do you want to talk about that or no <laughs> did you all there, was, so there, was there a competition the I, I continuously say I do not fight over men I share men I don't mind Ever, you know, community dick is very, no, very no, my vibe. You are such a good person, and I want to hold space for that right now because he actually did me a solid. This this guy was wanting to hang out with both of us, or specifically, and I wanted to mm -hmm. go first, and Johnny let me. And then once I did, I was like, "Wait, actually, I don't want you to go after him." I <laughs> and and Johnny was so sweet and literally was like, "All right, he's all yours." And even though this guy was hitting up Johnny all the time while also hitting me up, Johnny was a lady about it, and he let <laughs> he, he respected my wishes, which TBH he didn't have to do. He did not have to do. So, Johnny, wow, Johnny, <laughs> just so y'all know, Johnny will fuck a guy right before you <laughs> so that you can um, so that he'll already be all worn down and tired out. So that when he comes over to you, he's just a husk, Furious. a shell of a man. Just a wisp of a person, and that is what, and that is what <laughs> it truly really means <laughs> to be, and that's, and that's what pride means to me. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what gay pride means to me. What does pride mean to you all? Comment below. What does pride mean to you? How has John Silly oh, showed man. you pride during gay pride? Has John Silly <laughs> fucked your boyfriend too? Comment below. If you are the boyfriend, if you're the, if you're the guy that John Silly passed over to Ryan O'Connell. Please comment below. Bob, Bob, he doesn't have Instagram. You, think, you didn't think I thought of this? He doesn't have Instagram. <laughs> and that's and that's why I feel safe discussing this on this holy Instagram live. Okay. Mm. <laughs> and this is just between me and the <laughs> and, and the people yeah, hanging out. A couple of hundred people yeah, listening in on this incredibly this private just us girls, conversation okay? right now. Just us girls. <laughs> um. How? Um, as, as a drag queen, <laughs> her, um, what was y'all's, uh, how, how we all happy, we all very happy to see some drag representation? Yeah, I mean, the, um, the character Bussy was actually modeled after Chi Chi, after Chi Chi Devane, so it was really special to have 
you know, a, a maternal figure in the show at La, that's played by Armand Fields. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like before, you know, in a lot of shows, drag is just kind of like used in the background. And I feel like it's really nice. I mean, you've, you, um, you know, like, I don't know who I'm talking to, but like, it's just really, I'm, I'm really happy to see it in full, like fledged situations, like character story arcs and all the things because the community is so much bigger than just cis gay men. So it's really nice to see all types of, you know, people getting their, their zhuzh. Yeah, I, I was gonna send out some much, some love to, to my sister, Chi Chi Devane. I'm actually rewatching um, season eight for my new page with Monet Exchange for Sibling Rivalry. And uh, every time she comes back across my screen, I'm like, ah, oh, I love this queen. Uh, the Shree 4 Diva, the Bayou Beauty, um, we really love uh, Miss Chi Chi Devane. So much love to Chi Chi. And I also love that big shout out to uh, to Big Frida right at the top of the episode. You see the Queen of Bounce right there. And she really is like the queen of yeah. New Orleans. Like if you ever go to New Orleans, like she's <laughs> more power than the mayor. Like <laughs> Big Frida, like Big Frida is, is the like the 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 um we're gonna be celebrating her jubilee her <laughs> platinum jubilee in coming she said you already know <laughs> you She's already know show. Um, yeah finale a word if you make it that far i uh oh, that's what I, I i i saw the first i saw the first episode i have not seen it but now i know what happens in the finale <laughs> so it comes thanks Ryan. Any other books you want to ruin, Ryan? What happens at the end of this book, Ryan? You want to? I'll, I'll let you all know the last word in this book. The last <laughs> thing that Ryan says to all of us is, um, "All of it mine, every last bit." So since we're really that's okay. right, all of it mine, every last bit. Hi, Devin. Well, I, I feel like I feel like now we need to um, we need to just pick another random selection to okay. let you all know how your tomorrow's gonna go from. from from the book, the first, no, it can't be the first, it has to be like out of the middle of the book. So this was, <laughs> let me um pick, uh, I need a page, I need a page number for you, Johnny, zero through um, oh, 280. Uh, uh, let's do 27. 27, <laughs> my age. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a joke, why are you laughing? <laughs> wow, wow. I sat down, took off my shoes, doing my best to not stare at him, as if it was a real date. And I didn't want him to know how much I wanted him. Wow. Yeah. It's giving gay rights. It's giving. It's, <laughs> <bad. laughs> it's giving. It's giving. It's giving the gay Walt Whitman is what it's okay. giving. <laughs> okay. So here's the question. So speaking of drag, so if, okay, if 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 um. Marina Del Rey and Sophia Laurent are going to do a drag number. What oh, number are you performing? I think, for me, well, like, what would I perform alone, or with, what would I perform with Marina? With, with oh, by myself, by it would yourself. have to be uh, Whitney Houston. Uh, I have nothing. We would do. I would do. I would do uh, leather and lace by Stevie Nicks and Donna Henley. Oh wow. You are, I, I, I can now see, I, okay, it's all come making sense now. I can definitely see that you are the queen who walks in and changes the music. When everyone's listening to, I, I fuck. you won't take my soul, and walk in and like, have you guys heard this incredibly <laughs> current song by Rihanna? I literally put in Fade Into You by Maggie Star, and then everyone's like, I'm suicidal now? Like, what's happening? My favorite? Everyone's like, play some pot to blow, you're catching your like. Have you guys listened to any of the, the latest? <laughs> no, movies? like, but She's honestly, really that's not tracks. far from the truth. I'm like Chet Baker. Anyone Chet Baker? Yeah. <laughs> or I mean, sometimes you would throw a little Azalea on, which was. Oh, weird. I love Azalea Banks. My problematic fave. I love Azalea. Love. <laughs> I also love that Drake and Beyonce are basically doing Azalea this summer. Interesting. Wow. Well, Drake. Yeah, Drake dropped a Drake dropped a but gay album. Not I was like, Azalea's oh my goodness, been doing not that the gay last, album. I mean, obviously, Azalea is borrowing from other people as well, but it's so interesting that Azalea has been making similar music for the last 10 years. And hmm, interesting. Anyway. Shot fired. Officially, we announced it here Ryan versus Drake. 
Drake, if you want to come forward and say and and um and and confess your sin, wait, what what's Drake's real name? Oh. What's Drake's real name? Aubrey, oh. uh, Aubrey, <laughs> Aubrey Graham. Listen, uh, Aubrey. Okay. So if you want to come forward so and atone look, for your sins, I look like Ryan's Bruce calling you Drake. out. Some people online. Who said that? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry. I, that, is, that is very <laughs> accurate and very upsetting. I've been told that I look like if I only oh, is eight. Hold on. I'm beard, so, you know. What? <laughs> okay. I think it's BRB. With Jackson Pollock I think, in the background. I think, yeah, I think we lost him for a second. Well, listen, are there any... um? I mean, I, I, without, without spoiling the show for us, uh, Johnny, is there anything, you know, amazing or exciting that you could uh, tell us that we can look forward to? I've only, I mean, I've only seen episodes there's one. There's a so lot far. of, you know, fun people in the show that we have Niall DeMarco, Meg Stalter, who, you know, High Gay, uh, Lucas Gage, who was in, um, what's that, White Lotus. Uh, we have, you know, a, a lot of good drag mm -hmm. performances. You know, New Orleans is just such a, fucking amazing place that like I feel like a lot of times doesn't get its due and the yeah. queer scene there is so fucking cool there's a drag wrestling episode that is uh called choke hole <clears throat> there's a lot of there's a lot of good shit there's a mushroom trip at some point work oh well, no, I don't spoil the whole you and Ryan oh, are really obviously out here Kim Cattrall and Juliette yeah. Lewis like yeah it is See, uh, yeah, people are very excited to see Kim Cattrall on the show. Um, it's really, I mean, Kim Cattrall <laughs> said, I'll do reboots, not that one. He said. Kim Cattrall said, oh, yeah, no, I'll do a reboot. Well, she did. Just, now, uh, she also did uh, How I Met Your Father and this show. So it's like, she's really just like. <laughs> she's doing every reboot. She might be able to reboot the Flipper, uh, Adam's Family, um, Brady Bunch. Uh, she, she, she's. She's about to do every every reboot there is. She's about to do literally what? all of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's in Hocus Pocus too. <laughs> no, she's she's so great. She's so talented, and you know, it's funny. There's there's something that happens in the show that has happened on another show, but it it was interesting to see. Anyway, you have to watch it. It's like towards the end of the season, so. You and Ryan are really out here about to give the entire. Y'all are wild. You and Ryan and me and are me and Ryan wild. have some really good stuff together that happens around like episode three, four. Sorry, you guys. Welcome I have to back, go to dinner Ryan. with <laughs> the most Hollywood queen ever. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. Like, I so didn't sorry. Really, you have to go to dinner with your agent. Am I right, ladies, or am I right? Hashtag relatable queen. Where are you going to dinner? Republic. <laughs> you see, you're not that Hollywood. You're not supposed to say where you're going to Oh, dinner. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is a oh, lie, right? Everyone's never going to go. Honey, no one's going to go. I think you're underestimating or overestimating my power. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know who's coming? <laughs> Aubrey Graham is coming. Aubrey Graham is coming to assault you <laughs> for your for your uh, aggressions against his music. So if you all see Drake and Ryan, oh my god, lol. L O L. Here first. Uh, wait, we're talking about Kim. Oh my god, Kim plays my mom, by the way. Just so you know. Yeah. That's amazing. We 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 were um, gagged that she well, did. Well, have you seen it? Just like that, it's written one. by cyborgs. And by cyborgs. <laughs> I mean, rich people in their mid fifties, right? <laughs> Johnny was like, is this, I, between the, between the writers of and, and between the writers of the New Sex in the City and Drake, you are going to start a fist fight with any person. You know what? Honestly, honestly, the likelihood of me in running into a writer from and just like that at Republic is extremely high. <laughs> <laughs> That is actually that is like their cafeteria. That is actually very brand. I actually that I I do now feel unsafe. <laughs> They're gonna fully throw a drink in your face at the thing and say, "This is oh from Aubrey." I'll have you. Know. I can't wait till Aubrey Che Diaz beats your ass. Oh my! Hey, it's me, Che Diaz. <laughs> hey, it's me, Che Diaz. Oh my god! Again, 
giving cyborg. I'm a ah. like truly like it is it is like sex in the Sim City. It's like truly <laughs> Ryan. What? We we have to be nice. Johnny and for the record, Johnny co signs <laughs> oh, all oh, of these I'm comments. Sorry. They oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry to come out with my scalding you. hot take that and just like that is bad. <laughs> yeah, you heard it you heard it here first, okay? The oh. critically acclaimed, nationally beloved show and just like that, a show that really understands humanity and how people talk and how people live. Yeah, you're right. I'm coming right. out again. But Ryan, they're renewed for a season two and we haven't gotten renewed yet, so maybe just be nice. <laughs> What you gotta realize is that Johnny's actually te texting all these takes to Ryan, and then Ryan's yeah. not afraid to say them out loud. Everything, we're in a group text right now. We're in a group text. Everything that Ryan's saying, Johnny's texting it, and Ryan's just not afraid to be that. May the bridges I burn like for real. I'm a GDM wet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, is there any, before we go, any, any more things you wanna say before? Um, or uh, West Side Story <laughs> Wars and Republic can go off. Anything, um, any, any any final words about about your characters, about being a part of this? Um, I'll give, um, you should watch it. Part. It's really corny. It's like how queer people talk. Um, I don't know. You should totally watch it, and um, you'll like it. I swear. You'll watch it, and you'll think, actually, this is really good. And I'll resent you for saying actually, but it's. <laughs>